as we journey through the Lenten season, a time not only for giving up worldly pleasures, but also for deepening our prayer life. Today's video will explore a letter from Padre Pio, where he shares his wisdom on meditation. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. In today's video, we will delve into a profound letter that Padre Pio wrote to his spiritual daughter, Maria Gargani. In this letter, he shares his seven steps on meditation. I recently made a video about Maria Gargani titled From Classroom to Convent, Teacher's Dream Defies the Vatican, where you can learn about her life story and how Padre Pio influenced her spiritual journey. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a link in the description below. Now, I really enjoyed reading this letter because it offers us a glimpse, a deeper view into Padre Pio's spirituality. And, of course, by extension, a glimpse into the spirituality of his spiritual children. It's fascinating how there's always something new to learn from Padre Pio. So without further ado, let's dive into the letter and hear Padre Pio's advice on meditation. Firstly, prepare the subject of your meditation. As Padre Pio emphasizes, you don't need a book for this. Every truth in our religion can be a theme for it. Generally, the life, passion, and death of Jesus should be meditated upon. Secondly, and this is something I personally need to remember, ask God for the grace to meditate well, that it may be fruitful. Then commend yourself to the Blessed Virgin and the entire heavenly court to help you meditate well and keep distractions or temptations away. This is a crucial point. Too often do I find myself distracted by various thoughts. Thirdly, having done this, begin the meditation by going into every detail of the theme. Fourthly, make resolutions. Consider the defects that are the cause of many imperfections and sins. Resolve to work on a virtue and stop only when you have overcome it. Now, this is another important point. How often do we start working on some personal issue only to give up or hastily move on to something else? We should finish what we started. Fifthly, Padre Pio encourages imploring the heavens for help. Ask God for the graces and aids that you need. He then emphasizes, recommend to God all men in general and in particular. It is crucial not to forget to pray for others as well. Furthermore, he provides a list. Pray for the restoration of the kingdom of God, the spread of the faith, and the exaltation and triumph of our mother, the church. Pray for the living and the dead, the unbelievers and heretics, and for the conversion of sinners. After all, he continues, offer your meditation and prayer with the offering of your entire being to all the people you care about, through the hands of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Guardian Angel, Saint Joseph, etc. And finally, another very interesting piece of advice. Quickly examine how your meditation was and ask for forgiveness if it was flawed. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't recall ever really asking God for forgiveness if my prayer or meditation was flawed. I do, however, feel that sometimes I did not give God the reverence he deserves. But never have I asked for forgiveness because of this. So, thank you, Padre Pio, for adding a new layer of humility to my relationship with God. Padre Pio then concludes the letter with some more profound advice. Meditate at least twice a day, not less than half an hour, possibly in the morning to prepare for the battle, and at night to purify the soul 
from any worldly attachment that may have occurred during the day. So what do you think of these steps on meditation shared by Padre Pio? What was your favorite part? Please let us know in the comment section below. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of our Protected Children of Padre Pio program for your continued financial help and support. You make these videos possible for everyone. Your continued support keeps me going. We thank you from the heart. May Our Lady and Padre Pio reward you abundantly. If you're not yet a member of this special program, why not join now? Lent is a good time to make good resolutions and sacrifices. Members have special spiritual as well as material benefits. One such benefit, our regular Mass is celebrated especially for your intentions. Pope Benedict XV said, The Holy Mass would be of greater profit if people had it offered in their lifetime rather than having it celebrated for the relief of their souls after death. It is simple to join. Just click the link in the description below to find out more. Every donation is received with heartfelt gratitude. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.